Hey guys, welcome to the second part of the August monthly crystal healing video. This is for Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. So the way this works for those who are new to this, or, or you may just be stumbling across this, just like the one I posted yesterday in the couple in the last couple months, I'll be pulling crystals, crystal cards from this deck. Where's the book? That's like I just had it. Uh, it's called the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle Deck. If you guys want this deck for yourself, I'm putting a link below in case you guys would like to purchase it. I do get all my stuff on Amazon or any, it's not like a sponsorship or anything. It's all straight from Amazon, okay? So the way this is going to work, I'm going to pull some crystals for each sign. Then we're going to go into detail on uh, why you need these crystals. Not a whole lot of detail. I'm just going to pull some tarot cards to see just the general gist of why you need them. I do get some intuitive hits, so I might get more stuff that comes through. I did get a lot of stuff yesterday for cards that I pulled. Um, keep in mind, guys, for these cards, I am going to read the descriptions from the book, just because this is very, very general, and I don't want you guys running out and buying crystals if you don't really need them. So just from the descriptions of the crystals, you'll know if you really need these crystals for yourself or not. Um, that's the only reason why I read the descriptions, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. How are you guys? You guys feel a little defensive. Why is that? <laughs> I'm just being honest, Libra. I feel like you guys feel a little defensive for the month of August, or at least the energy I'm tapping into during this time. Uh, what crystals do my Libras need for the month of August? Are you keeping your distance from somebody? I, that's just what I'm feeling. Like, you're keeping your distance from someone. You're in a little bit of protection mode, a little bit of defense mode, like alert mode. Hmm, Libra. I would not be surprised if we get black tourmaline. Let's see. What crystals do my Libras need for the month of August? What crystals do my Libras need for the month of August? What crystals do my Libras need? Let's see what we got here. We got one crystal so far. Ooh, we got pink granite. You know, it, it's interesting because like it is a really awesome stone, but I, I gotta be honest, it's not the prettiest stone to me. It's not the prettiest one. And Libras, I feel like you're having that reaction. <laughs> you guys are all about aesthetics. Yeah, I don't think you're digging the 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 aesthetic of this stone, but I, I do feel a little bit of protection with that. I'm also getting some solar energy too with confidence. Something with confidence. Oh, maybe that's why you're on alert. Maybe you're needing a little bit more confidence in a situation. What other crystals do my Libras need for the month of August? Let's see here. I'm getting something but also transmuting energy for you, Libra. You might need to change something about your energy field or the people in it. The people in it. There's something about needing to transmute your energy. And for those who don't understand transmutation, transmute just means change. It like transmutation literally is just changing something from one form to another. I yeah, I feel like it's people. I feel like it's people, Libra. I feel like you need to be a little cautious. You might need to change out a couple friends here, okay? Uh show me the other crystals that Libra needs for the month of August. Any other crystals for Libra for the month of August? Oh, that's it. You guys just got the one. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this description here. All right, pink granite, the lightning bolt. Pink granite has the highest par paramagnetic resonance of all stones and creates immense energy. You are an ancient Egyptian with an arcane knowledge that, role, that the role entails, but you originated in the stars. You understand cycles of birth, death, and rebirth. Are you a scorp cusper? <laughs> Sorry and immortality you have been involved in ancient power struggles cut yourself loose become more grounded learning experiences occur regularly and serendipitous synchronicities put you in exactly the right place at the right time be assertive and make things happen events move with surprising speed once you focus your intention see the whole picture before deciding be pragmatic but don't give your power away maintain balance in a relationship mm, what did i say Something about people in your environment. You need diplomacy intact. Lightning can strike twice. If dealing with ancient strife, look at the bigger picture. Ah, oh, shit, Libra, what's going on? Everything must pass away. Death precedes transformation and rebirth. The frequency of the stone is earthy and quite high. It's great for all the chakras, and it's great for um, 
for dealing with issue dealing with unexpected issues a lightning conductor for positive change yeah a little bit of transmutation going on like i said and definitely about some someone in your environment or people in your environment that y'all need to deal with or cut away okay let's go ahead and pull some cards and see what else we can get with that using um rider weight deck for this why do my libras need, need the pink granite why do my libras need the pink granite Why do my Libras need the pink granite? Why do my Libras need the pink granite? Why do my Libras need the pink granite? Let's see here. Wow, the chariot, because you've got to keep it moving, Libra. <laughs> Cancerian energy. Some of you might even be thinking about moving cities or moving jobs. Like I I'm getting a lot of physical physical movement but i do feel like this is you trying to uh get to a higher level in your energy and also just get away from certain people in a situation here to be triumphant to also be triumphant in a situation i'm also getting over someone over someone uh let's see show me why libra needs pink granite please wow seven of pentacles in reverse Ooh, libra taurus energy you're anxious to get away from someone. You're anxious to get away from someone. I'm like, what's, how do I say this energy? Uh, it's like alert, 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 intruder, intruder. Thank you, intruder. Uh, you feel like someone's intruding on your space, intruding in your energy, intruding in your into your territory. If this is going on at work, someone's definitely overstepping the bounds with you. Someone's stepping, Clyde's playing with the blinds. Someone's stepping on your toes, Libra, and you're like, I just need to get away. I need to get away or I need to be triumphant in the situation and show someone who's boss. It's going to be a little different for all of you in that regard. Like I said, if it's work, someone's stepping on your toes. You want to show someone who's boss. You want to be triumphant. Others, if it's like like someone who's intruding in your energy field or like a friend or a lover, you just want to get away and get be done with them. Be done with them. Why do my Libras need pink granite? Why do my Libras need pink granite? Why do my Libras need pink granite? Oh, wow. I got a lot of cards just came up. Okay. So we got three other cards that came out here. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Libra. You want to get away from some kind of intruder. Danger, danger, danger. Magician, mercurial energy, which is Virgo, Gemini. It could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. Seven of Swords in Reverse, Aquarian Energy, and then we have the Page of Pentacles here. Ooh, Libra. Yeah, you want to get away from someone uh, who definitely did you wrong in the past. Why can't I pick these cards up? <laughs> who definitely was up to no good in the past. And it does feel like someone that you knew when you were probably at a very much a younger age or someone you went to school with, someone you could have studied with. Again, could also be someone that you worked with at a younger age. But so, someone pulled some shit with you in the past, and you kind of look at them like they're very uh, capable. They're a little trickstery. They're a little trickstery. And you see all that yellow, all that solar plexus energy I was getting? Yeah, all that freaking yellow. Even the chariot. The only card that's not super yellow background is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, because this is you being antsy. Like, oh, I need to get away from this situation. I need to deal with this situation. I need to be triumphant in this situation. No matter what I got to do to do it, I got to do it. And you will. The fact that Chariot's upright tells me that you will. You very much will. Um, but yeah, this person, whoever they are, they did you wrong in the past. No point in thinking they wouldn't do that again, right? At least they haven't shown you. They haven't shown you that they've changed, okay? That they're not like that anymore. Overall energy, Six of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Sorry, Taurian energy, not Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Taurian energy. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is... Virgo energy. So overall, Libra, you just want balance in the situation because you need your stability. Libras always need their stability, and this person is not going to be giving it. They might say that they want to, you know, work it out with you, or they might say like, "Oh, I've got a proposition for you, Libra. Go, oh, come on. Like, oh, that's that's just the past. That's just the past." And you're you're like, alert, alert, alert. Get the hell away from me. <laughs> Get the hell away from me. I'm holding on to my stability, Libras. A lot of you are actually quite successful. The Libras that I'm tapped into, at least the Libras that this message is for. Um, you could have gotten a promotion at work, and maybe that's also why this person may be stepping on your toes. That this is all in your work environment. Um, 
Others of you have just built up a nice little nest egg for yourself. You've built up a good life for yourself. And if this is a friend or a lover, it's like you want to protect what you have. That's why you're a little bit in, in the defense mode, a little bit in like protecting yourself, protecting your shit, because you need to maintain your balance to protect your Ten of Pentacles here, okay? Uh, but yeah, someone's going to try to spin a nice little story for you. Libra, just use your intuition with this. I mean, you already are. And like I said, alert, alert, alert get the hell away so a lot of you already feel like no this person's up to no good i don't need to be dealing with this person oh boy libra okay let's go ahead and do scorpios hi scorps how are you all right you know it's so funny <laughs> uh i was looking at the comments yesterday from the first uh, crystal video and someone commented uh that my divine masculine is drake <laughs> that gave me a really good laugh i know my divine masculine it's not Drake, uh, but I thought that was cute. And that, you know, I, I love music. I love music, but I don't really follow musicians very closely. So I, I looked up Drake and oddly enough, we actually have the same birthday. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. Oh, that's interesting. Anyway, anyway, neither here nor there. I just felt like sharing. Okay, Scorpios, let's see what's going on with you for August. Mm. Scorps, what do I feel like you're... Are you confused? I think you got some confusion going on in August. I don't think it's hit you yet. I feel like it's coming. I feel like it's coming. I want to say like more towards like mid, like maybe even like around the full, like right before the right before, right before the full moon. And you have a heavy heart as well. Oh, Scorpios, I might get rose quartz for you, or even amethyst. Uh, I just heard malachite. We might get malachite. Malachite's a great stone for Scorpios. Um, but Scorpios. Yeah, I'm feeling heavy heart and confusion, but like I said, I feel like a, this hasn't really hit a lot of you yet. But let's see what we get for you guys. What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of August? Ooh, stress. I'm getting stress. Ooh, Scorpio, I don't like that. No bueno. What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month? Damn it, I can't say that. <laughs> So guys, I love crystals, but I'm not always the greatest at pronouncing them, okay? Um, so forgive me for mispronouncing some of these. Mookite? Mookite Jasper? Mookite Jasper? I'm getting confidence off of that too. Oh lord, another one. Uh, <laughs> Rhodochrosite. Rhodochrosite. I believe that's how you say this one. Rhodochrosite. Rhodochrosite. Crocite. Chronocrocite. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna hold them all up again when I read them. Alright, let's see what other crystals you got. You guys got two two so far. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of heart chakra energy with you guys. What other crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of August? What other crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of August? Oh wow, that's it, Scorps. That's it. Okay, so let's get into these descriptions. Where's the I keep losing the book? Okay, there we go. Okay. M Mukite, Mukite, <laughs> Jasper, the dream time balances inner and outer experiences. Oh, just with that, I heard calm. Yeah, Scorpio, something's really stressing you out during August. Um, and I do feel like it's matters of the heart here. But yeah, this stone's going to help you balance yourself a little bit. It encourages versatility and openness to new experiences, helping you to choose the right path. A powerful being, you have roots that go far back into the past. You, what you have dreamed, you created. Reap rewards or rectify imbalances. Turn failures into a learning experience and start again. Remember to offer friendship to assist others who tread the same path. Your instinctive wisdom inspires them. Check your diet. Put your skills to use vigorously. Adventurous times lie ahead. Worry not. Worry not. You are protected against deceit and enemies. Recognize your strengths. Stay positive and pragmatic. Reject unrealistic ideas. Avoid pride and despair. You have stamina. Wait patiently. If two courses of action are open, go for the straightforward one. A professional challenge, such as a job, interview, or presentation, is successful. You are what you eat. Good nutrition with wholesome organic foods sustain your well-being. The stone has an earthy to medium frequency. It's great for the root chakra, the sacral, and the earth star, sh and the earth star chakra. Great for Leos and drawing on ancestral wisdom. Oh, Scorpios. <sighs> I can feel your anxiety. And like I said, for a lot of you, it hasn't hit you yet. It's like I'm tapping into, and you know, time isn't linear. It's almost like I'm tapping into like that timeline of the near future for you. 
the near future you. Okay. And then we have, oh wow, Rhodochrosite, the heart reviver. <laughs> Teaches the heart to assimilate painful feelings without shutting down, dissolving denial and identifying ongoing detrimental patterns. It offers compassionate love and forgiveness. You face the truth with loving awareness. Deep down, you feel alienated, unloved, or unappreciated. A history of sexual or emotional abuse creates dis-ease, or you may have misused or feared your sexual power in the past. You may be repressing something you do not want to face. Irrational fears and paranoia and unacceptable emotions need to be acknowledged and transformed. Time for a change of viewpoint. Begin to seek the gifts in your experiences rather than seeing the negative effects. Check out whether, whether what you were taught in childhood is still relevant to the person you are today. That sounds like improper grammar. Whatever. Releasing resentment from your heart creates well-being. This zone has a very high frequency. It's great for the heart chakra, the solar plexus, the root, and the sacral. Great for a summer season and radiating unconditional love and selfless compassion. Yeah, I knew it was matters of the heart, Scorpio. Okay, let's go ahead and see what you're dealing with. Something's got you so stressed out. Why do my Scorpios need these stones for the month of August? Whoa, I'm getting a bit of a head rush. Um, sorry, my crown just like opened wide with you, Scorpio. Um, some of you might be uh, really going through some expansion in your intuition. Just be mindful of your crown chakra. That's so weird. It actually made me dizzy. It, it opened so fast. Uh, I also just heard written in the stars. I don't know what that's about. Written in the stars. You don't want to believe something's written in the stars, Scorpio. You don't want to believe something's written in the stars. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of August? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of August? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of August? Yeah, that little message I just got, that's not for all of you, that's for some of you, and I don't really know what that's regarding. It does feel, again, matters of the heart, matters of the heart. You don't want to believe something might be meant to be. I don't think you're ready to forgive someone. Yeah. Sorry, I'm like getting all into this energy. We don't have any cards out yet. You're not ready to forgive someone. Like, to the point where you're just like, you're, you're not in my destiny. You're not. You're, you're not. You're just not. You're not. You're not. You're not. Mm. Oh, Scorpios, this is going to be heavy. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of August? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of August? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of August? See, Scorpios, you don't want to talk about it. You don't even want to talk about it. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of August? Wow, justice. That took a while, Scorpio, Libra energy. You want justice in a situation and you are going to get it. I am getting karmic balance mostly with this. I feel like you're dealing with some karma. You're dealing with some karma from this life and for some of you, even a little bit of your past life. And that I think is more connected to the fact you have a past, past life with someone, more than one, more than one past life with someone. You want justice, but it's almost like, Scorpio, this is very interesting. It almost feels very atypical for Scorpios whatever the situation is Scorpio it was so bad that you don't even want to try to get your justice is almost what I'm getting like like you'd rather just walk away you, you'd rather just like put it down and walk away be like I'm usually all about karmic justice but this ain't worth it for some of you it's not for you for some of you it's like it's not worth the pain it's not worth the headache it's not worth the energy it's not worth subjecting myself to this person again. Like that's that's a lot of the energy I'm getting for some of you with this justice card. But Scorpio, this is about karma. And justice is here. It's coming. Justice is coming. Why else do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of August? Four of swords. Yeah, Libra energy. You just want to 
you just want to back away. You, you just like, you don't want to touch it with a 10 foot bowl. Like you really don't. Um, this is also Saturn in Libra to be specific. If anybody has that placement, you are spending some time meditating on this. You've already spent a lot of time trying to heal from this. I'm just getting major separation, like pushing it away as far as possible, pushing it away as far as possible. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of August? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of August? Some of you are trying to stay calm. Some of you are trying to stay grounded, which is great, especially for those where your anxiety is going to go through the roof with this. Um, definitely try to stay as grounded as possible. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of August? We have one other. Wow. Queen of Wands, Aries energy. It also could be fire or water. Scorpios, I... Mm. Whoever this is, it's really hard to deny this person's energy. It's really hard to deny this person's energy. They have a Queen of Wands energy about them. Whether they're male or female doesn't matter, but they have a major pull with you and you don't like it. I can feel it. You don't like it, which is why it's like, I need to push this away as far as I possibly can. Oh, Scorpio. Overall, we have four of wands and the queen of cups. This is definitely about a relationship that you've had. I feel like it's a past relationship. Queen of cups is Cancerian energy. Could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Look at you. Look at you looking at it. And all the emotions that you're that you have regarding this, the pain you have about this, it's something that you, you spend a lot of time again trying to heal from, trying to just push away from, distance yourself from. But it still it still has a big big tug in your heart, a big attachment in your heart, Scorpio. The fact that it's upright tells me that that connection also hasn't been completely severed either. Yeah, it hasn't been completely severed either. Oh, Scorpio, you want to push this person away as far as possible because their energy is so strong and it's pulling on you. It's pulling on you. Uh, but it, it's it's also to bring justice to you. And when justice comes in, it's going to be in your favor. It's going to be in your favor. But it, this situation is so unpleasant or the pain or memory of it is so unpleasant. I, honestly, Scorpios, I, I'm just being I'm just being real here. A couple of you might be traumatized from this. You are having such an adverse reaction that that is so atypical to what a, a Scorpio would typically do or Scorpionic energy would typically react to that I, I really feel like for some of you, this was a traumatic person, a traumatic experience, a traumatic event. And you just like, I'd rather just keep it moving and keep my distance. Scorpios, you might be confronted with it though. So just keep that in mind that you really might have to deal with it. And I'm gonna show you the crystals again because some of y'all might really need these. Oh, why isn't it focusing? There we go. Oh. Mukite, Jasper, and Rhodochrosite. Rhodochrosite. Oh, oh, Scorpios. Okay. Moving on to Sag. Moving on to Sag here. And again, guys, these are general. These are not for everybody, which is also why, again, I read the descriptions. I feel like for some of you, whatever this relationship was, it might have been abusive. Might have been an abusive relationship. Okay. All right, Sagis. But that was really heavy. I'm like trying to shake out. To shake off that energy. Okay, Sag. What crystals do my Sagis need for the month of August? What crystals do my Sagis need for the month of August? What crystals do my Sagis need for the month of August? What crystals do my Sagis need for the month of August? What crystals do my Sagis need for the month of August? What crystals do my Sagis need for the month of August? What crystals do my Sagis need for the month of August? <laughs> Sagis, are you just doing so good? <laughs> what crystals do my Sagis need for the month of August? Oh my god, you guys don't have any crystals yet. This is crazy. What crystals do my Sagis need for the month of August? Come on, Sag, talk to me. Everyone always needs a little help. What crystals do my Sagis need for the month of August? Sagittarius, there we go. <laughs> Trigonic quartz, Trigonic quartz. 
a good little universal stone. I love quartz uh, just because it really is the perfect, oh, the perfect stone where you're like, I think I need a little bit of this. I think I need a little bit of that. It's like, it really is the perfect all in one stone. So, to, you know, so to speak. All right, let's see what else we got out here. Let's see if we get anything else for you guys. Any other crystals for Sagittarius for the month of August? Oh, okay. Whoa, and now you guys got rhodochrosite again. Oh boy. All right, so I'm not, when I get crystals again, I don't repeat the description. So I just go back to Scorpio for that one. What other crystals do my Saggies need for the month of August? What other crystals do my Saggies need for the month of August? All right, so just two stones for you guys as well. So like I said, I'm not gonna read this one again, but here's a stone for you, Sag. Scorpio had the same one, Rhodochrosite, okay? Definitely all about heart, you know, matters of the heart and the heart chakra. Mm -hmm. And heart healing. All right, Trigonic Quartz, the soul's code. Trigonics hold the secret of the secrets of the universe and rapidly expand your awareness of multi-dimensions. Trigonics are cosmic coding for the soul. You are an eternal spirit on a human journey. As a result, you may feel that Earth is not your true home. Are you also an Aquarius? <laughs> it feels very Aquarius. That sentence felt very Aquarian. Uh, but remember that you are here for a purpose. Expand your awareness, restructuring your physical and subtle bodies, beliefs, and realities. Birth your soul fully on Earth if you feel alienated. Meditation triggers your soul's full potential and purpose. In reintegrating fragments of your soul, you bring about wholeness. Recognize the multidimensional breadth of your own soul. Remain honest to achieve success. Reach beyond apparent reality and karma. Let go of conflicts. Renegotiate soul contracts. Heal soul traumas and the etheric blueprint. Expel toxins from the physical and subtle bodies to download higher frequency spiritual energies and integrate the light body. Your soul provides everything you need for well-being. The stone has an extremely high frequency. It's great for the soul star and stellar gateway. Ha! <laughs> great for Aquarians and Pisceans. Thought I felt Aquarian energy with that. And great for evolution to highest dimensions. You know, Sagis, you are the intuitive fire sign. You are the seers of the zodiac. I'm not surprised you have a bit of a cosmic uh, stone booster so to speak here for you um, especially during this time this month because Jupiter is going direct mid-month on the 11th this is only going to boost that Jupiter energy for you and really put you guys in an amazing place with your intuition so I'm not surprised that something like this came out for you but definitely you have this matters of the heart attached as well most likely for my Scorp Sag Cuspers okay or if you have Scorpionic placements all right let's go ahead and see what you need these stones honestly Sag I feel like you're in a good place I really feel like you're in a really good place. You're just very much uh, doing your own thing here. Why do my Saggies need these stones for the month of August? Why do my Saggies need these stones for the month of August? Why do my Saggies need these stones for the month of August? Why do my Saggies need these stones for the month of August? Oh, five of wands in reverse. Oh yeah, see, you're done with bullshit. Leo energy, you're done with bullshit. You're done with competition. You're done with people trying to step to you wrong or, or come at you wrong. You're just done with that. You're done with petty people. You're done with people who are also jealous of you. Sag, I feel like you've come to knowledge of people who are very envious of you and maybe hanging around you for the wrong reasons. You're done with that. You're done with that bullshit. Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of August? Page of Pentacles in reverse. Oh yeah, see jealousy. Jealousy, what did I say? Jealousy and envy. Yeah, definitely you've been dealing with people who definitely don't have your best interests at heart. Very envious of you. Um, wanting a little piece of you, again, for their own selfish needs. I'm also getting a lot of backhanded compliments. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of backhanded compliments. Why do my Saggies need these crystals for the month of August? Wow. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's see what we just got out here. Five of Swords in reverse, Venus and Aquarian energy. King of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. Could also be Earth or Air. Ten of Swords. Ooh, <laughs> sorry. Gemini energy. Someone made a mistake with you, Sag. And then Three of Wands in reverse, Aries energy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone in the midst of all these people, right, made a major mistake with you. Five of Swords in reverse tells me that they want forgiveness with you. Um, but that Ten of Swords, they're in a lot of pain about it. And King of Pentacles in reverse, I'm getting a lot of shame. A lot of shame. A lot of like, damn it. 
<laughs> damn it what was i thinking kind of energy they're really kicking themselves really 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 kicking themselves um they want to they also want to close the gap with you as far as distance is concerned they don't want to be so distant with you they want your forgiveness like i said such they're really kicking themselves they are very remorseful but it's up to you if you want to deal with them whatever they did to you it's up to you if you want to deal with them okay because they want forgiveness from you Let's see what else we got why else do my sagis need these crystals for the month of august why else do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of August? All right, that's it. Overall, oh, wow. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles in reverse of Virgo energy. You're not dealing with these people anymore. You're not. I'm not giving any more of my energy to people who don't deserve it. My energy's for me. It's not for anybody else. I'm not an energy cow give, giving energy to everybody else. My energy's for me and my hard work alone. I'm not dealing with these people. I don't really want to deal with this King of Pentacles. I get uh, what I'm also getting for some of you. But like I said, guys, they are remorseful. They are remorseful. So, you know, maybe you might, might want to consider just hearing them out. I'm not telling you to forgive them. I'm just saying they are very remorseful. They're in a lot of pain. They're really kicking themselves. And they do want your forgiveness, Sag. So just something to think about. But like I said, overall, you're just done giving your energy to other people. You're giving your energy to yourself. And you're having a good time as well okay really nice energy i really like that all right capricorn cappies all right caps let's see where you guys are at for august mm. crystals for my capricorns for august mm. crystals for my capricorns for august Crystals for my Capricorns for August. I'm getting a lot of sacral energy with you guys, actually, which is interesting. I almost never get sacral energy with you. Uh, a lot of creative energy, sexual energy as well. Yeah, creative energy and sexual energy. You guys are you guys are also having a good time. You and Sagis both having a really really good time. Uh, Cap, you're really confident. You're very very confident. Uh, some of you're having fun with people like um in your confidence like if you start hearing from people from your past you're kind of like you're not giving them a hard time you're having fun with it though <laughs> you're having fun with it a little bit like how like a cat plays with a mouse but not nearly as like um uh grim not nearly as grim you're having fun with people like if someone hits you up that you like you haven't heard from from a while it's like you're just playful about it. You're just playful about it. Not in an offensive way. It's like you just have that kind of confidence about you right now. Very flirtatious energy, Capricorn. I like it. Very flirty. What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of August? What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of August? What crystals do my Capricorns need? Ooh, pretty very pretty uh blue lace ag i can never say that one agate 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 it's agate <laughs> blue lace agate god that's a gorgeous stone i'm actually getting a lot of aquarian energy with you guys too what's going on with aquarius oh we have the full moon that's right we have the full moon coming up on the 15th i believe um this this stone is probably gonna apply to you more around the full moon because i'm getting a lot of aquarian energy with that okay you might just be coming into knowledge about something but Honestly, Cap, you're in a really good place. I'd be surprised if we get more crystals for you. What other crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of August? What other crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of August? Yep, that's it. Just the one. All right, let's go ahead and read this description. <coughs> Sorry, guys, let me get some water. Did I miss it? Nope, there it is. Oh, ha! <laughs> Not surprised. Blue lace agate. Self-expression. Connect spirit with intellect. Highlighting integrity. It enhances the ability to communicate effectively what is in your mind and heart. Attune to your inner being to express the fullness of who you are. Be confident when speaking in public as you have much to share. You have been silenced in the past. 
<clears throat> Repressing thoughts and feelings causes throat problems. So speak your mind gently, honestly, and clearly. You have the gift of serenity. Use it wisely. Speak your heartfelt truth with integrity and confidence. Do not fear being judged. Expect news shortly and keep lines of communication open. Events unfold slowly. Return to basics and start again if necessary. Focus your mind and open your intuition. Your life will be long and happy. Accept your sensitive side. Expressing yourself fully releases neck and shoulder tension, thyroid deficiencies, and throat or lymphatic infections as well. This stone has a very medium, has a medium frequency to a high frequency. Great for the throat chakra, third eye, heart, and crown. Great for Gemini's and Pisceans, and for expressing yourself fully. Very much the energy of the full moon in Aquarius. Full moon in Aquarius is all about being who you are, being loud and proud about it. Very much like, yes, this is who I am. You might not have realized it, but this is who I am, and I'm telling you who I am, and I'm showing you who I am, right? very much that kind of energy but caps you're in such a great place that i feel like you're actually already doing a lot of this so this is just going to be a bit of a booster for you for the month of august you guys are looking pretty you're looking real pretty for august um this is just a booster honestly this is just a booster there might be a little bit of having to have a, a very honest conversation with someone like a very um like laying some shit out on the table kind of a conversation clearing up the air a little bit but I feel like you're so confident right now that like it's gonna be easy for you to do. If you feel like you're wavering in your confidence, then please, by all means, go ahead and get the stone. But I really feel strongly this is just gonna be a booster for you for the month of August. All right. Why do my caps need this stone for the month of August? Why do my caps need this stone for the month of August? Why do my Capricorns need this stone for the month of August? Why do my Capricorns need this stone for the month of August? <laughs> my guides are so funny. To make it easy. <laughs> to make it a little easier, Capricorn. Why do my Capricorns need this stone for the month of August? Why do my Capricorns need this stone for the month of August? see here wow we have a king of swords in reverse aquarian energy i thought i felt aquarius aquarian energy could also be gemini or libra wow eight of swords gemini energy yeah you guys are going to be having a conversation and death in reverse scorpionic energy this person capricorn <laughs> they're hurting over you they are hurting over you uh that eight of swords they feel very very trapped very confined and i'm feeling trapped in the mind they're so trapped in the mind over you Capricorn they can't stop thinking about you they can't stop thinking about you in death in reverse I definitely want to pull a Lazarus with you Lazarus for those who don't know what that is it's basically someone coming back from your past like someone you thought you were done with a situation you thought you buried they want to bring this back up again they can't stop thinking about approaching you they can't stop thinking about resurrecting a situation with you and king of swords in reverse they're not talking to you you two aren't talking at all. Um, I, it's like they're almost suffering in silence as well. I don't think they're sharing this information with other people either. Um, I'm also getting an energy that they might be a little narcissistic. Mm. Realizing they're narcissistic. Realizing they've been a little narcissistic with you. Oh my. All right, let's see what else we got here. Why do my Capricorns need this stone for the month of August? Why do my Capricorns need this stone for the month of August? Wow. Six of Swords in reverse Aquarian energy. They can't deal. I'm sorry, Capricorns. You guys are in a great place. I know this is not your energy. This person can't deal. A lot of aqua energy for you guys. It might be a cusper. This person is in some stormy ass waters. They they just they can't they can't really be productive right now either, is what I'm getting. They can't be productive. They can't really get shit done in their life because they, they can't stop thinking about what happened with you and that they want to bring something back with you. They're almost kind of stuck, Caps. They're, been a, they're in a bit of a rut. Why do my Capricorns need this stone for the month of August? Why do my Capricorns... Oh, yeah. Queen of Swords. Libra energy could also be air or water. We do have a true pair here. So soulmate energy at the very least. Basically, you two are just very compatible. You're cut from the same cloth. You're, you basically are made for each other, okay? <laughs> Essentially made for each other. This is, this is why they can't get over you. They can't get over you. They want to resurrect with you. They, they can't move forward. They can't move forward. Like, they can't. 
they can't they can't they can't they're just so stuck in the mind over you and capricorn they're also realizing how much of a true match you two are is also what i'm getting with this i don't think they realized that before they're like oh damn Capricorn might have understood me way better than other people. Why did I not realize that? Why did I not see that? They're even afraid. And it's crazy because as much as they want to approach you, they're afraid to approach you. They're afraid to approach you. Wow. Overall energy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Four of Wands. Four of Wands. They really want to resurrect a foundation with you, a relationship with you, build with you. Underneath that, we do have the Eight of Cups, Piscean energy, Chariot, Cancerian energy. Oh, and look, King of Cups, Scorpionic energy, water and air. They want to be committed. The Chariot with the King of Cups, that is commitment in love, man. That's forward movement to commitment. The Eight always goes to the Ten. The fact that the Eight's here, though, also tells me that they might be leaving their own situation or another relationship to be with you because they can't stop thinking about you and they can't deal. And it's also very obvious. Yeah, thank you. I'm getting a little bit of a download. For those of you where you know this King of Swords is already in a relationship or some kind of situationship, they can't stop thinking about you so much that it's actually showing. It's showing. And the people they're dealing with, the person that they're with, the people they're around, they're just like, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, they're, they're kind of in shock as well. I don't think this person has been like this for, for a long time. I think for some reason it's, it's like a recent thing, month, maybe like the last month that they've been a little sick over you, okay? I kind of feel for them a little bit. I got to be honest. I know <laughs> Capricorn, you're funny. Don't feel sorry for them. Um, I do feel for them though. That's hard. That's a little hard. That's a little rough. Imagine being in a relationship and it's like you're thinking about someone else and it's showing and the people around you are like calling you out on your bullshit, right? So Caps, like I said, they love you. They can't stop thinking about you. They know you're cut from the same cloth. They know you're very compatible. Um, but they're having a really hard time. A really hard time. Okay. Aquas, my Aquarians. Let's see how you guys are doing right now. I think you guys are going to be really good for the month of August. What crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of August? Especially with this full moon. You know, mostly full moons can be a little rough. For the most part, they can be a little rough. Depends on the full moon. But they can be a little rough on the sign that the full moon is happening in, especially if it's your moon or your rising. But with the full moon in aqua, I mean, it's such a fun energy. It's such a fun, out there, confident energy, putting yourself out there. Aquas, I feel like you're going to be like an amazing place with this energy for the month. Not to mention a lot of Leo energy as well, which is um, your natural seventh, your natural counterpart. It's, you know, your, op your opposite. I say opposite, but it's really your complement right? Um, yeah, I really feel like August is going to be fun for you. What crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of August? What crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of August? Wow, that was very quick. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We got Bloodstone. Bloodstone. Um, ooh. Watch your health Watch your health, Aqua, a little bit here. I'm also getting like metabolism for some reason. Some of you might not realize you have a metabolic disorder. I got something yesterday too. I forgot who else had bloodstone. Someone had bloodstone yesterday. Um, and I was getting anemia with that, but Aqua with you, it might, oh, it might've been Leo. It might've been your, your counterpart here. Um, but anyway, yeah, someone might have a metabolic disorder and not realize it. Ooh, oh, this is a fun one to say. A zestulite. I think I, I think I did a good job with that one. A zestulite. That one I'm not familiar with. I'm not familiar with that stone. What other crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of August? Wow. Okay. Aquas, you guys got a lot. Ooh, pink granite. I'm not going to repeat this one, but Libra had this one. So if you're curious about what this stone's about, go ahead and, and look up Libra. I'm just going to hold it a little longer so you guys can get that down, okay? Pink granite, pink granite, pink granite. Getting the job done is actually what I just heard. Getting the job done, aquas. And moldavite, ooh, moldavite. Oh, I love this stone. I, and that's actually a really awesome picture too of moldavite. I know it's hard to tell, but it's actually a very green, like a dark, almost a, like a darker emerald kind of green stone. Oh, please focus. There we go, there we go. Wow, okay, you guys have four. 
I'm a little scared now, Aqua. I'm a little scared. What other crystals does Aqua need for the month of August? What other crystals do my Aquas need for the month of August? You're handling some shit, Aqua. You're handling some shit during the month of August. I'm getting a little bit of a download. For a lot of you, this is in the work environment, okay? A lot of you, this is in the work environment. Getting your work situation straightened out is actually what I heard. And again, getting the job done, getting the job done. It's almost like you're proving yourself. Some of you feel the need to prove yourself. Only do that if you feel like it actually is a valid thing and not because it's like you're feeling insecure, okay? All right. Bloodstone, perseverance. Bloodstone has always had a powerful connection with maintaining vitality, regulating menstruation, and staunching blood loss, as well as purifying the kidneys. You are a magical being of your own individuality, your family, and your environment. Let go of the past. Look closely at your ancestral line. Recognize toxic patterns subconsciously running your life. Break away and be strong. You may be unnecessarily aggressive or defensive. Acknowledge mistakes and let inner disharmonies be transmuted. Detoxification and chaos precede transmutation. Perseverance is needed. Locked doors open. Obstacles are swept away and romance blooms, Aqua. Perseverance, uh, perseverance. Preserve your good reputation. Oh, I just felt that in the solar. Yeah, Aqua, some of you got some shit going down at work, especially if it's like a family business. Recognize your enemies and keep them close. Do not be deceived. A farewell is called for. Mourn appropriately and let go. You are a spiritual warrior. Be assertive. Nourish your blood and and you revitalize your whole body. This has an earthy frequency. It's great for purifying and, lower, and aligning the lower chakras. Great for Aries, Libras, and Pisceans, and for freedom from the past. I'm also I also just heard past mistakes. Past mistakes, Aqua. Ooh, some of you got might have some past shit coming up you got to deal with. Just keep that in mind. And again, I'm getting a lot of work, especially in the work environment. Azestulite, cosmic evolution. Azestulites are imbued with immense spiritual energy and information for guidance and insight. They are here to help Earth ascend to a higher expression of consciousness. You are being need to rise above mundane concerns, keep your feet on the ground, and deal with the everyday. Too much emphasis on sweetness and light leads to ignoring your shadow energies, which become inauthentic and lethal. Niceness, if not acknowledged, integrated. Niceness, if not acknowledged, integrated. Okay. Stay, stay real. Leave your ego behind. You are here to represent spiritual light on earth and help it evolve. Make yourself heard. A project is successful no matter what. Avoid becoming impractical and having too high an opinion of yourself to the detriment of others. Retain your humility. Recognizing that every soul is precious ensures you remain in cosmic harmony. Oh, I'm getting a download for you guys about work stuff. Wow, all this work for you, Aqua. The stone has an exceptionally high frequency. It's great for all the chakras, but it's best for the crown chakra. It's also great for assisting the earth to evolve. Some of you, whatever this work situation is, um, some people at work, whether it's true or not, just the messenger, whether it's true or not, some people at work might think that you have a little bit of like a superiority complex that you might think you're all that in a bag of chips it's the, it's their perception whether it's true or not it's their perception so tread lightly here when it comes to work there are some mistakes you made in the past in this work environment that are kind of coming back to bite you in the ass we all make mistakes right we all make mistakes but have humility when this happens if it's about your past mistakes because people there's already this perception that people think that you're always riding up on your on your high horse. Prove them wrong. Prove them wrong with humility and kill them with kindness. Okay? Kill them with kindness. You can prove your worth in your work. You don't have to... You don't have to speak it. Right? A lion doesn't tell you he's a lion. Right? That kind of energy. Just the messenger. I'm not saying you guys are on your high horse. It's just a perception people have. Pink granite, like I said, Libra had this, so I won't repeat it, but go ahead and check out Libra. I'm going to hold it up a little longer for you guys. Pink granite, check out Libra. Okay. All right, now let's go to Moldavites. Ooh. Okay. Moldavite, metamorphosis. Moldavite was created when a giant meteorite slammed into Earth some 11 million years ago, fusing the, Earth, the power of the cosmos with that of Mother Earth. You are a child of the stars. Yes, you are, Aquarius. <laughs> and find the environment of earth heavy and inert. <clears throat> Moldavite raises your vibrations with in cosmic light so that you feel more at home. You are on a search for the inner grail. 
awareness of your divine origins. Release ingrained beliefs to make way for spiritual metamorphosis. Detach yourself from mundane issues. You are going through a spiritual transformation. So dramatic changes occur as you reach beyond your limits. Talk to your soul to check the outcome of present actions. Transcend time. <clears throat> Don't know what's happening with my throat chakra. Avoid sowing seeds of destruction. Just be careful. Aqua, tact, tact, whenever this happens for you. Fertility and good fortune await. You are far more than a physical body. Harmony at all levels creates your well-being. The, the frequency of the stone is earthy and very high. It's great for all of the chakras, but it's best for the highest upper chakras. Great for Scorpios, an integration of the physical and the spiritual. This is going to be a big growing experience for you, Aqua. And if you handle it with humility and tact and just really, you know, show that the proof is in the pudding in your work ethic, you're going to have abundance and success here. OK. All right. So let's go ahead. Check out why you need these stones. Why do my Aqua? So <laughs> Aquas, you're so funny. Didn't you just tell us why we need them? I suppose I did. But let's see if we can get more details. Jeez, I need water, guys. Sorry. Mm. Mm. Okay. Why do my aquas need these stones for the month of August? Why do my aquas need these stones for the month of August? Why do my aquas need these stones for the month of August? Why do my aquas need these stones for the month of August? Why do my aquas need these stones for the month of August? Oh, jealousy, queen of wands in reverse. Aries energy could also be fire or water. You got a hater, aqua. You got a hater. Someone might be spreading rumors that you're up on your hot horse when you're not, when you're not. Definitely some major jealousy with that. I do not like that energy whatsoever. Hater, 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 hater. You got a hater. Why do my aquas need these stones for the month of August? Ooh. Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. This hater is worried. This hater's scared. This hater's scared. Why are they scared? Oh, I guess that makes sense. Aqua, this, this hater's scared of you. They're scared of you. And when people are scared, what happens? Think of an animal. What do animals do when they're scared? Fight or flight, right? Lashing out. What does an animal do when they're backed into a corner? They, they get vicious and crazy, right? Be careful with this. You got, you got a hater who's scared and feeling backed into a corner. Wow, wow, Ten of Swords in reverse Gemini energy. This is crazy. Look at this. Look at this. A hater with the Nine of Swords energy all up in their head, scared, scared first and foremost with that Ten of Swords in reverse. Aqua, it's almost like they're scared they're going to be found out or scared that an ending is going to be happening for them. Let's see what else is going on here. Why do my Aquas need these crystals for the month of August? whoa lovers in reverse gemini energy also my divine soul connection card so soulmates twinsies divine counterparts whatever resonates with you oh gosh aqua this hater feels like an ex this hater feels like an ex oh oh okay i'm getting a download yeah aquas for some of you this is a jealous ex who's been very a jealous ex who's been hating on you and I do feel like hating on someone that you might be interested in okay and aquas that also go because it's I'm getting three energies for some of you some of you not all of you some of you that's just between you and your ex others of you it's just it's between a third party situation so this could be where it's like aqua maybe you're interested in someone and it's their ex who's hating on you for those where this is a work environment ooh, don't tell me this is like a, a romance a business romance gone wrong um mm, yeah for some of you this is a business romance gone wrong and it's really fucking up your work situation okay 
Others where this is just purely business, purely business. It's almost like this person was always very jealous of you because it's like you're just good at what you do or they're just, you know, it's just your essence that they're jealous of. And then they did something to throw you under the bus or to undermine you. And it's like that admiration for them. It's like oh, I'm, uh, humiliation, humiliation. It. This is not the same thing, but I don't know how what else to compare it to. Like, you know, when people become obsessed with someone because they admire them so much and they become like obsessive and stalkery, you know, like breaking into people's houses and shit. Like, it's almost that kind of energy. Like for if it's for those where it's just purely business. They admired you, obsessed over you, became jealous of you because that obsession turned festery, that admiration turned festery, which is why the lovers is here. That's how much admiration they've had for you. And they caused a betrayal because they like threw you under the bus or wanted to undermine you. Wow, crazy. Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of August? Five of cups in reverse, scorpionic energy, getting over it. Aqua, I feel like this is your energy. I feel like you're getting over this situation. You're getting over the situation and they know that. They know that. For those where there's a romantic component, because like I said, some of this is purely business. For those where there's a romantic component, they know you're getting over it and that's just hurting them even more. Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of August? Wow, Knight of Cups, Piscean Energy, Water and Fire. What did I say? Aquas, you're on to the next. You're over it. You're already on to the next. They know it and it's killing them. It's killing them. But just be careful. This person's very jealous. Very jealous and very much a hater. On the bottom of the deck, we do have, oh wow, look at that. Six of Wands, uh, Leo energy, Jupiter and Leo to be specific, and Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and then we have Justice, Libra energy. You're getting a lot of attention and a lot of victory here. You're getting your Justice, Aqua. You're heading into the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, it's with another person. It's with another person. And it's what you deserve. It's something very healthy, very abundant, very balanced. Very, you're like, oh my, very fortunate too. Like Aqua, some of you are feeling very lucky to be going into the situation. So like I said, for those where this is purely work and someone's trying to throw you under the bus, again, so much admiration for you. It festered and became obsessive, jealousy, and they're even kicking themselves for it like they betrayed you. And they did. They did. So for those where this is purely work, have humility, have tact, your work ethic will show. This is public recognition. This is other people seeing you, watching you, right? Being successful. The proof is in the pudding. You don't have to, a lion doesn't tell you he's a lion. You don't have to scream about this person. You don't have to go on and on about this person. Just have humility, have tact and grace and professionalism for those where this is a work environment. And either way, you're going into some major success here, Aqua. And for some, like I said, it's with another person that you've already moved on to because you moved away from this ex. <sighs> and Aqua, where this is a third party situation and this is an ex of someone that you're interested in, they're just very upset at what you two are having, at what you two are sharing together. The fact that Justice is here tell, like, basically tells me that they're very aware. They're very aware that this is something very balanced and something that you and their ex deserve. Okay. Ew. Sorry. That I like oh dealing with people like that's pretty awful. Very awful. Okay. Pisces, last but not least. Pisces. Let's do it. Mmm. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of August? What crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of August? What crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of August? What crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of August? One more. What crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of August? Mm. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I just saw a bat. They just showed me a bat for you guys. I think you guys just went through a transformation, actually. Some of you are going to be going through a transformation in August. A little bit of hibernation as well. Oh, some of you guys were sick. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> some of you guys were really, really sick and in bed. Or, oh, or will be. Be mindful of that. Will be. I'm getting like that, like, huddled up, 
kind of like, oh, I'm just in a little cave kind of energy with that. But I feel like trans transformation first and foremost, a little bit of a rebirth, feeling renewed, feeling renewed and rejuvenated, Pisces. What crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of August? What crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of August? What crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of August? Oh, oh, black tourmaline or tourmaline, however you want to pronounce it. Wow, Pisces, why do you need protection? Some of you feel like you really need protection. You know, and I feel like it's more for while you're going through this transformation, not after. I feel like this is why you're going through the transformation. So for those who just had one, I don't think you really need this stone anymore. But for those going through it, you're, you're going to need feel the need to be protected. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, blue lace agate. Okay, I like that blue lace agate. Speaking some truth here. Okay, Pisces, whatever you're you're talking about, whoever you're talking to, make sure that you're protecting your energy. It's someone that is combative is what I'm getting. Abrasive. Abrasive. Let's see what else we got. Some of you are actually standing up to somebody. What other crystals do my Piscean? And this is part of your transformation. Thank you. This is part of your transformation. Whatever this conversation is, whatever this confrontation is, um, whatever speaking this truth is for you, it's a conversation that will lead to transformation for you, okay? I just heard closure. Closure. What other crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of August? Oh, that's it. So because we had blue lace agate, I won't repeat it. I do believe, was it Sag? Or Cap? Sag or Cap? Damn it. Cap. It was Capricorn. <laughs> so Pisceans, and for those who are just using the timestamps, Pisceans, um, Capricorn had this one, so I don't I don't want to repeat it. So go ahead and take a good look. Blue Lace Agate, Capricorn had it. Go ahead and go and check it out, okay? Let's go ahead and read Black Tourmaline for you guys. <laughs> Protection. Absorbs negative energy and affords excellent energetic protection, enhancing your physical vitality. You are adaptive, adjusting to new places and new situations. You have clarity of thought and analyze situations rapidly. Let go of over-cautiousness, but stay protected. You sense it when people wish you ill. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you do, Pisces. <laughs> Uh, you may be carrying a family or past life curse, creating dis-ease. Recognize that negative thoughts and actions harm others and yourself. Strengthen your protection. Consolidate plans and be realistic. Yeah. Pisces, I love you to pieces. But that, that, that little phrase just jumped out at me. To be consolidate plans and be realistic. You know, Pisces, I love you because you guys can be very optimistic, very much like Sagittarians and very imaginative and it's like you see all the possibilities sometimes it can be hard for you to stay rooted in realistic options so just keep that in mind okay consolidate plans and be realistic you'll soon see the way through obstacles ensure you are well protected ill wishing or envy may be directed your way neutralize bad energy without harm to others watch your thoughts attend to practical matters be generous and give others freedom Neutralizing toxic energies from your environment, shielding yourself from ill wishing or EMF stress, and detoxifying your body supports well-being. This stone is a very earthy frequency. It's great for the earth star chakra and the root chakra. <coughs> oh no. <coughs> mm, it's just my allergies, guys. <coughs> great for Capricorns and for appropriate energy shielding and enhancement. I need water. I'm sorry. I'll be back. Thank you, Pisces, <laughs> for letting me get my water on. Mm. Mm. Uh. 
Okay. Not surprised because we have a communication card here. Oh, shit. Pisces, you might be saying something to somebody that you've been wanting to say for a long time. A very long time. By the way, I just realized this, this would make a beautiful bracelet. <laughs> that would make a really beautiful bracelet with those two stones together. Let's go ahead and see why you need these stones. Like I said, for a lot of you, I feel like it's standing up for yourself. Yeah, for a lot of you, I feel like it's standing up for yourself. Others, you're being confronted. You're being confronted. All right. Why do my Pisceans need these stones for the month of August? Why do my Pisceans need these stones for the month of August? Why do my Pisceans need these stones for the month of August? Why do my Pisceans need these stones for the month of August? Why do my Pisceans need these stones for the month of August? Okay. Why do my Pisceans? Very quick. Temperance, Sagittarian energy. I love that this is your first card out, Pisces. This is my fix-it angel. Also divine intervention for me as a reader and healing, healing, healing energy. Oh yeah, five of cups in reverse, scorpionic energy. You are putting some shit behind you with this conversation slash confrontation. You're putting a lot of shit behind you and you're coming to a great place of healing and balance and divine is here guiding you as well. Yeah, six of pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy, something that was very taking and very unjust for you. Oh, sorry, my ears. <laughs> something that was very, very unjust for you, very imbalanced. And then we have the world in reverse, fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Trolls, Capricorn, could be traveling, but this is definitely the end of that. Putting an end to the bullshit, putting an end to the selfish ways, the taking ways, where you get the shitty end of the stick and you get to put that shit behind you. For some of you, this is um, someone that is from a long from your past. Whoa. I just started smelling someone's cologne. Oh, that was weird. Super musty, almost like, um, like wood. Almost smelled like wood, like sandalwood. Ugh. Wow, <clears throat> I'm actually allergic to that. <clears throat> Hold on, guys. Mm. Yeah, so Pisces, this person, most likely a male. That was weird how that just like came rushing in. And probably older, could be a father figure who was very unfair to you, very unjust to you. I'm actually hearing a lot of yelling. I'm getting a lot of yelling. They probably yelled at you a lot. It could also be a boss figure who yelled at you a lot. Either way, it's a long-standing issue and you're just done with the bullshit. You're done with it and you're finally healing from it. Some of you, this has been years in the making, finally he healing from it. And what's going to prompt it is you just speaking your truth to this person, speaking your truth to them. Why do my Pisceans need these stones? Why do my Pisceans need these stones for the month of August? Others, it could be a partner, it could be a romantic interest or um, a spouse of yours, or even just a friend, but it feels like a masculine energy that you're speaking to regardless of your gender. Why do my Pisceans need these stones for the month of August? Why do my Pisceans need these stones for the month of August? Either way, they like to wear something very musty. <clears throat> Hierophant, Taurian energy. Ooh, I like this. More of divine guidance is what I'm getting and also advice. Some of you might be seeking advice on this situation, on how to handle this situation. I feel like that's almost like a trigger. Like they're gonna say something or do something where you're just like, that's the final straw. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. And some of you might go out and seek legal advice or even just spiritual advice on how to handle this person, especially if they're a family member. Let's see what else we have here. It's a major lesson learned from you as well as also I'm getting off this card. A major lesson learned from you and really going to help you grow spiritually quite a bit. Why else do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of August? There right, you One other card out here. <clears throat> Wow. Two of wands in reverse, Aries energy. Yeah, this is seeking out guidance because you don't know how to handle this person. And I do feel like it's because it, you, for a lot of you, it's someone that you've had in your life for quite a while. Someone who could even be older than you. Someone who could possibly be a family member or a boss or a father figure. Your father was coming in really strong, especially with that very musty <clears throat> kind of cologne. But either way, 
the, that cycle of taking from you, that cycle of berating you, that cycle of being selfish with you, and I'm also getting like derogatory, being derogatory with you is over. It's over, you're over it, you're putting it behind you, you're healing from it, and some of you are definitely seeking advice on what to do about it, and also a lot of divine guidance as well here. Two cards out of six, which is what? That's a third. A third of these cards are all about divinely guiding you through this, okay? So, Pisces, speak your truth with that blue lace agate and protect yourself with a black tourmaline from this person's energy, because their energy is very awful, I can feel it. Very, very toxic energy, very toxic energy overall. Ace of Cups in reverse underneath that. Nine of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. Yeah, this this situation has been disappointing to you for too long. It's, it's really sucked away a lot of the happiness out of your life, a lot of the joy out of your life, and you don't have any emotion for this person anymore is also what I'm getting. You don't have love for this person anymore. So if they're a family member or even a spouse or a friend, there's nothing really holding you here anymore as far as emotions are concerned. Your heart's done. Your heart's done with them. You're done being disappointed. You're done. And some of you were also very depressed because of this person as well. That's also what I'm getting. Um, some of you suffer depression because of this person. And I don't I don't usually like to say it like that because for, I, I suffer from depression myself. I suffer from chronic depression. Um, and for me, I know it's a I just know it's a chemical imbalance. But some people can take us there right? Some situations can really aggravate that within us. So even if you already ha are predispositioned to that condition or, or, you know, to just having bouts of depression, this person exacerbates it. I'll say it that way. This person exacerbates your depression. And I do feel like they kind of deal with depression as well on their, you know, in their own right. They're not, they're not aware of it or they don't acknowledge it, which is also why I think they like to lash out and berate and be the way that they are. But Pisces, you're done. All right, Pisces, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. And well, not just Pisces, everybody. <laughs> I hope everybody enjoyed this reading and um, go out and get your crystals if you need to get your crystals. For those where it didn't resonate, just wasn't for you. Other people just had to hear these messages, okay? I hope you guys have a really great month and a really great night. And I will see you guys later. Today, I will be doing water signs for the weeklies, okay? Have a great night, guys. Namaste.